Hello and welcome gorgeous Pisces to your weekly reading. I hope everyone is doing really well. Let's take a look at your cards and the messages that spirit would like to bring through for you. Be sure to connect in with your own intuition throughout the reading. This is how spirit speaks directly to you. You may see a sign or a symbol, a message on one or several of the cards. If you do take notice of that, it is a direct message from spirit to your situation. If you like, you can think of a question that you would like answered. And by the end of the reading, there will be an answer revealed or guidance in some way uh, revealed in the cards. So let's take a look at your first message here. So your first message is about letting it go. You're holding on to something that no longer serves you. You're holding on to something that may never have served you in the first place. Okay, but someone came into your life or someone has been around you uh, in some situation, in some scenario, and maybe they have caused you harm and it is it is time to let it go or let them go or, you know, I also feel actually that this energy is supporting you in protecting yourself. So you're protected now, you are all right and you can let the burden go. It's important to drink more water. So this card may be calling um, a physical benefit for from doing this in the week ahead. Um, also, it's a water sign. So you may have a Pisces, a Scorpio or a Cancer that is um, that's important in some way in your life at the moment. Um, you may also find that working with water in some capacity, being around water uh, or a body of water, a lake, a river, the ocean, uh, this is going to bring some kind of benefit for you in your life. Um, there might be an activity that you're doing on the water or in water, uh, swimming. Okay, so there's something like this going on with someone of importance. So that's a specific message for someone. You are able to work your magic. Okay, so you actually have the abilities, you have the skills, you really have all the tools available and you're going to uh, you're going to see the results of your efforts. Okay, you are going to see the results of your efforts. Um, be persistent, you know, don't give up or don't throw in the towel. Uh, you are working your magic in your life to for increase, for abundance, for happiness, for health. Yoga might help you. It might help you on the physical level. Um, this is also a very spiritual card. So meditation or a practice, uh, spiritual practice or prayer, something along these lines um, is going to be very beneficial for you. Might be linked into working your magic in some respect. So let's see what this deck reveals for you, Pisces. So we have the Kingfisher, be patient and be focused. Something is not going to happen in your timing. Unfortunately, there's divine timing. There are bigger things at work here and being patient and being focused is, is all you can do. And this in and of itself is very powerful for you this week. Listen to the messages of the angels. You have angelic presence around you at the moment. You actually do. And you can listen to the messages through your intuition, through your inner voice, um, through your heart. That is the best way, actually, to listen through your heart to the messages that are coming through from your angels. Finding uh, new ways of solving a problem. I can see that you're looking into or will be looking into solutions or alternative options and this is going to give you uh, new possibilities new doors will open for you and new revelations and healings can take place um, difficulties can fall away I can see chains breaking from you so restrictions will whatever they are financial health um, work family um, they will fall away so continue to search continue to find new ways 
Now you have a snake energy that's, um, that's close to you that you might be keeping at bay. You might be finding new ways to keep this snake energy at bay, which is someone who is not working in your best interest, uh, someone who is out to attack you. Um, they might seem okay on the surface, but then, you know, if you ruffle their feathers, if you, you know, in, in some way they feel that they need to, um, they need to get back at you or, you know, they just have, um, jealousy or, you know, they've got something happening with them that they are now trying to inflict on you. So it's important for you to live according to your divine essence, listen to your heart, know your truth. And the divine is actually on your side there. So the divine, so spirit, the angels, you know, and I say that because the angels are right here. So it looks like there is, um, there's definitely divine angelic guidance and angelic essence that is yeah, over this covering this situation of difficulty in this relationship. So we have a few cards there and I'll take this one as well. Alchemy, you have the Midas touch right now and every project you begin turns to gold. So if you're not starting a project, if you're not planning to, actually Spirit is encouraging you to, to do something that, you, that you've wanted to do for some time, that you want to be a success because it will turn to gold. Things are going to go in your favor. And if you are on a path, if you have this focus for something, know that um, it's going to turn out really well, very successful for you. There's a lot of positive energy behind you or backing you. And it is important for you to surround yourself with positive people and situations and avoid negativity as much as you can. Avoiding negative situations, putting boundaries in place where needed, protecting yourself energetically. Music for manifesting, to manifest rapidly. Think of your desire while you chant, hum, sing, or play music. So that's a tool uh, to bring in a beautiful manifestation uh, into your life more quickly. And it's important to dream big, okay? So what it is that you're wanting to achieve through working your magic this week, dream big. Because life-changing miracles are on the way for you with all of these blessings in these cards, especially the angelic presence I see over here. You really will hit the jackpot with this blessing. Things really will start to turn around for you. So let go of small thoughts about yourself and see yourself succeeding. Be fearless and be bold. Do not let fear hold you back or restrict you. Or if anyone else's energy is causing fear, do not let that overtake you. Be bold and have confidence. Because you do have the skills, you have the ability, you've got the knowledge. Um, or you're gaining it very quickly. Think on your feet. Yeah, so you're going to be in a situation or you are in a situation at the moment where you kind of have to do this. You have kind of have to think on your feet and you're going to do it so well, so well. So you, no need to fear. You are laying a solid foundation for yourself in, in some way. Uh, so see how this resonates for you, Pisces. Um, you are building a, something very strong, a fortress. You're building something in your life which will mm, stand the test of time. Trust in divine detours. So trust. If things start to shift or change, uh, know that this uh, this is a detour that is being orchestrated by the divine. Guidance for Pisces, please, spirit. Wise counselor. 
Unity with a spiritually minded community. Ask the divine for help and trust the answers will come. So connect into your spirituality or spiritual practice and the answers will come. Compare traditional methods with new ideas. So it's about seeking out new alternatives or options and see what is best for you. Um, and that goes for spirituality and spiritual practice, but also for other things as well. You know, it very much ties into the energy of finding uh, new ways of solving problems or um, finding new ways of doing things. Taking the next step. So you are definitely moving forward in a positive way. Bold and ambitious choices. Partnering with others who share your dreams and expanding your plans. So continue to move forward. Do not look to the past so much. Look to the future and what that is going to bring for you. What manifestations you're wanting to bring into your life. News of exciting opportunities are coming up. Allow your creativity to soar and do things that fuel your passions and finish what you start. Okay, that's an important thing. Finish what you start or have started. A beautiful new emotional experience is going to be offered to you. A romantic relationship that is going deeper, getting to know someone more or reconnecting with a romantic relationship or a friendship has this option has this opportunity to go deeper for you to get to know them more or to reconnect with an old friend. Awakening of psychic abilities or spiritual insights are also on the table for you. There may be a love letter or a new home. So again, we have a beautiful um, romantic energy here, a new love or a new home. A loss of peace of mind or personal freedom. Something may have been taken away from you recently and you know all too well what this is. Uh, take caution and be aware of others' actions. Okay, so be alert. Don't be alarmed because you are aware of it, but uh, just be alert, set your boundaries, do what you can. A material loss, perhaps. Make sure you are being honest with yourself and there may be embarrassing secrets that come out. Enjoying the fruits of your labors. So very content here. You've got your pentacles all lined up. Hard work that is going to lead to a good life or a success in some way. And buying yourself something special might be on, the, on your agenda, might be something you're planning. Happily and successfully self-employed. And enjoy your solitude as well. So remember to take time for you this week. Enjoy your solitude. Let's take a look at the pendulum. If you have a question you'd like to ask Spirit through the pendulum, you are welcome to think of that question now. The answer is yes. So check in with your heart, with your intuition, see how this resonates for you. It's been wonderful to read for you today. Take care, stay blessed, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.